hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to share with you how to crochet this mini footprint so to make this footprint i have used single crochet stitches and made this foot and toes separately and at the end stitch them together here i made total 17 rounds to get this size you can use this in any of your crochet decoration here i made this loop to use as a hanging before we start to make this mini footprint i would request you if you are watching my channel first time please subscribe to my channel so you get to know my more creation and ideas with crochet so let's see what all you need to make this mini footprint so to make this i am going to use this cotton thread from this brand and for this cotton thread i am going to use crochet hook of size 2.0 mm you will also need some fiber filling one stitch marker scissor and needle and if you have any decorative button or bow like this so you will need this also it's optional so let's see how we are going to make this mini footprint so first we are going to make a ring here i am going to use a magic ring i will give you the link above on how to make a magic ring in detail So once you have a ring in this ring we are going to make six single crochet stitches so first make chain one then make six single crochet stitches so like this in totals six stitches so after six single crochet stitches if you're working in a magic ring just pull this loose end of the ring to close so round number one is done and we have six stitches in round number two we are going to work two two single crochet stitches in top of each stitch here we are not going to use a slip stitch so this is your chain one skip this chain one and take your hook directly in top of first single crochet and make two single crochets one and one more in same stitch put the marker in your first stitch so you get to know this is the starting of round number two then after two single crochets in top of next stitch make two single crochet So in round number two we are going to repeat this stitches in remaining four stitches make two two single crochets in each stitch so at the end of round number two you will have 12 single crochet stitches So round number two is done now in round number three 
top of first stitch make one single crochet after one single crochet into the next stitch make two single crochets In round number three we are going to repeat this stitches top of next stitch make one single crochet then top of next stitch make two single crochet so like this repeat this stitches make one single crochet then two single crochet and complete this round so at the end of round number three you will have 18 stitches Round number 3 is done and we have 18 stitches. Now in round number 4, top of next stitch, make 2 single crochets. Put the marker in your first stitch. After 2 single crochet, in next 3 stitches, make 1 1 single crochet. After 3 single crochet, in next stitch make 2 single crochets. Then in next 4 stitches make 1 1 single crochet. Then in next stitch make 2 single crochet. Then in next 4 stitches make 1 1 single crochet. Then in next 4 stitches make 1 1 single crochet. So round number 4 is done and we have 21 stitches. Now from round number 5 to 7 we are going to make 1 1 single crochet in top of each stitch from our previous round. So take your hook in top of first stitch and make 1 single crochet. Put the marker in first stitch. Then in next stitch, one single crochet. Then in next, one single crochet. So like this, in each stitch, make one one single crochet and complete round number five, six, and seven. So I've completed my seventh round. Now from round number eight, we are going to decrease these stitches. So to do the decrease, Take your hook in the front loop of first stitch and take your hook in the front loop of next single crochet stitch. So you will have three stitches in your hook. Now grab the thread, pull from first two loop. Now you have two loop in your hook. Then grab the thread and pull from next two loop. So like this we have decreased one single crochet. So like this you have to decrease the stitches in coming rounds also. So now after one decrease in next two stitch again we are going to decrease one single crochet. So 
so we made two decrease then in next seven stitch make one one single crochet after seven single crochets again we are going to make one decrease in next two stitches after one decrease in next six stitch make one one single crochet after six stitches in next two stitch make one decrease So round number 8 is done and we have 17 stitches. Now in round number 9 we are going to make one one single crochet in top of each stitch. So in first stitch make one single crochet. Then in next stitch make one single crochet. Then in next one single crochet so like this make one one single crochet in remaining stitches and complete round number nine so round number nine is done now in round number ten in first stitch make two single crochet Then in next stitch make two single crochet. Then in next 15 stitches make one one single crochet. we have 19 stitches now in round number 11 in next three stitch we are going to make two two single crochets Then in next eight stitch make one one single crochet after eight single crochet in next stitch make two single crochet Then in next seven stitches make one one single crochet. So round number eleven is done and we have twenty three stitches. In round number 12, in next stitch, make two single crochet, one and one more in same stitch, so two. 
place the marker in your first stitch after two single crochets in next two stitches make one one single crochet then in next stitch make two single crochet then in next two stitches make one one single crochet then in next stitch make two single crochet then in next two stitch make one one single crochet now in next six stitches make one one single crochet then in next stitch make two single crochet then in next seven stitches make one one single crochet so round number 12 is done and we have 27 stitches now in round number 13 in next 18 stitches make one one single crochet So after 18 single crochets in next two stitch we are going to make one decrease after one decrease in next seven stitches make one one single crochet round number 13 is done and we have 26 stitches now in round number 14 in next 18 stitches make one one single crochet So after 18 single crochets again in next two stitch we are going to make one decrease then in next six stitches make one one single crochet So round number 14 is done and we have 25 stitches now in round number 15 in next four stitch make one one single crochet
after four single crochets in next two stitch make one decrease after one decrease in next stitch make one single crochet then make one decrease then in next seven stitches make one one single crochet after seven single crochets next two stitch make one decrease then in next two stitch make one one single crochet then make one decrease then in next three stitches make one one single crochet so round number 15 is done and we have 21 stitches now in round number 16 in next four stitches make one one single crochet after four single crochet next two stitch make one decrease then in next stitch make one single crochet then make one decrease then in next five stitches make one one single crochet after five single crochet make one decrease then next stitch make one single crochet then make one decrease then in next two stitch make one one single crochet round number 16 is done and we have 17 stitches now at this point we are going to stuff this gap with the filling Now in round number 17 we are going to make 8 decreases
so after eight decreases in last stitch make one single crochet now pull this thread and cut with some margin now take this thread in a needle now we have nine stitches left so what you have to do take this needle in the back loop of the next stitch here pull this thread then take your needle in the back loop of next stitch pull this thread so like this work in back loop of each stitch and close this circle So we made this foot now we are going to make this loop so to make the loop take the thread with some margin like this much and cut with some margin and here i made this loop with double chain stitches i have a detailed video on how to make a double chain so just i will give you the link above so meet a slip knot so loop it's up to you how big you want this loop should be So here I made 20 double chain stitches. Now once you made the required chain, what you have to do, take your hook in very first chain pull this thread So we made this loop now take this thread in our needle so you can see this shape so very starting point from where we have started our stitches take your needle and here we are going to stitch this loop now we are going to make this toes so to make the first toe first we are going to make a ring and in that ring we are going to make six single crochet stitches so 
so chain one and make six single crochet stitch So round one is done in round two in each stitch from our previous round we are going to make two two single crochet so skip first chain and top of first stitch make two single crochets Then next stitch two single crochet so like this make two two single crochets in remaining stitches and complete round number two so at the end of round number two you will have 12 stitches So round number two is done now in round number three in next three stitches make one one single crochet after three single crochet in next stitch make two single crochets like this we are going to repeat this stitches in next three stitch make one one single crochet then in next stitch make two single crochet and repeat till your last stitch so at the end of round number three you will have 15 stitches So round number three is done now in round number four in top of each stitch from our previous round we are going to make one one single crochet So like this make one one single crochet till your last stitch so at the end of round number four you will have 15 stitches so round number four is done and we have 15 stitches now in round number five we are going to decrease one single crochet so in next two stitch make one decrease after one decrease in next three stitch make one one single crochet now we are going to repeat this stitches in next two stitch make one decrease then in next three stitch make one one single crochet So repeat this stitch till your last stitch so at the end of round number five you will have 12 stitches so round number five is done now in round number six we are going to make six decreases
now just pull this thread and we are going to fill this gap with the fiber So our first toe is done to make the second toe make a ring and and that ring make six single crochet stitches so round one with six single crochet stitches in round two we are going to make two two single crochets so top of very first single crochet take your hook and make two single crochet like this make two two single crochets in each stitch so at the end of round number two you will have 12 stitches so round number two is done now in round number three and four we are going to make one one single crochet in top of each stitch from our previous round so at the end of round number four you will have 12 stitches so one single crochet then in next stitch one single crochet then in next one single crochet so like this make one one single crochet and complete round number three and four so round number four is done now in round number five we are going to make six decreases top of first stitch make one slip stitch now just pull this thread and cut with some margin again we are going to fill this gap with the fiber so we made second toe now to make the third toe again you have to make a ring and that ring make six single crochet stitches in round one now in round number two in top of first stitch make one single crochet then in next stitch make two single crochet then in next stitch two single crochets then in next stitch make one single crochet and in next two stitches make two two single crochet So round in at the end of round number two you will have 10 stitches now in the round number three in top of each stitch from our previous round we are going to make one one single crochet one single crochet then in next one single crochet so like this make one one single crochet in each stitch till your last stitch so at the end of round number three you will have 10 stitches
so round number 3 is done and we have 10 stitches now in round number 4 in next stitch make one single crochet then in next two stitches make one decrease now repeat this stitches in next stitch make one single crochet then in next then in next two stitch make one decrease like this repeat these stitches till your last stitch so at the end of round number four you will have six stitches again fill this gap with the fiber pull and cut the thread some margin so our third toe is done now you have to follow these stitches same as third toe and make fourth toe with that same stitches so i made the fourth toe now to make the fifth toe make a ring and in that ring make six single crochet stitches so once you made the six single crochet stitches then in round number two take your hook in top of very first stitch and make one single crochet then in next two stitches make two two single crochets then in next stitch one single crochet then in next two stitch make two two single crochet So round number 2 is done and we have 10 stitches now in round number 3 in next stitch make one single crochet then make one decrease then in next stitch make one single crochet then make one decrease repeat these stitches it's in next stitch make one single crochet then in next two stitches make one decrease and complete round number three so at the end of round number three you will have six stitches first stitch make one slip stitch then pull this thread and cut with some margin fill this gap with the fiber so now we have five toes and this foot shape now we are going to arrange this toes to this foot and then we are going to stitch this to this part so first take your first toe and you can see this shape here you can see this part so here we are going to place this toe so at the first two three four five sixth row place this toe 
this then take the second one So like this you have to arrange them in this sequence so first second third fourth and then the fifth one at the very parallel to this stitch at this end and now we are going to stitch them to this foot when we made the toes at the end we have six stitches so by taking that one stitch at a time you have to stitch this toe to to this foot So I have stitched the first toe like this. We are going to stitch the remaining four toes. So I have stitched all five toes. Now I have this decorative small bow. So I am going to stick this at the top to decorate this. So this is done. I hope uh, you have learned from this video. If you have any questions or query, please do let me know in comment section. You can also connect to me through my Insta and Facebook page. I will give you the link in description box. So see you in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.